back to the channel y'all in this video we're gonna be comparing these two cleaner waxes it's the mother's ultimate hybrid ceramic wax right here versus the 3m cleaner wax all right right here all right now for those you don't know both of these waxes are cleaner waxes one of them just ceramic and the other just a regular one step cleaner wax. Both of them have polishing abrasives in here. So it's going to take out scratches, swirls, oxidation. And um, it's just one of them ceramic and one of them just a basic cleaner wax. All right. But both of them has abrasives in here. So it take out scratches and swirls. All right, so remember that, guys. They both are abrasive and they take out scratches and swirls. All right, so I hope you guys can see pretty good. I hope you got y'all here up high enough. Y'all can see what's going on. Raise you up a little bit. All right, so now we're going to apply these two waxes and we're going to see which one of them is more hydrophobic than the other. All right, let's, let's do it. Okay, I'm going to simply apply the 3M cleaner wax to this side. All right, now both of them clean the paint. Okay, let's apply it here. Let's take out scratches, swirls, oxidation, uneven spots, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's abrasive. I really don't care about testing these products to see which one of them lasts the longest. And I'm going to explain why in another video because you're supposed to use the detail spray and the wax, spray waxes in between washes. And that's a true fact. All right, so we'll let that haze over. And it removes some of the oxidation because I can see it here. Okay, that's the 3M. So in this little spot here, we're going to use the Mother's Ultimate Hybrid Ceramic Wax. All right. This is an all-in-one product, SL2 Ceramic. So this is going to clean the paint, polish the paint, and leave behind ceramic protection. Take out scratches and swirls. Okay. It's an all-in-one product. Anybody say different? They don't know what they're talking about. It's an all-in-one product. It states right on the back. Okay. We're going to put this here. You want to work it in pretty good because, like I said, it's an all-in-one. And we can just go water test this joint. And we'll bring you guys in see which one lasts the longest. See what's one be water the best. I mean, I don't care about how long it lasts. Okay, so we take it off whatever garbage is on the paint that shouldn't be there. These two waxes, we pull them off. Okay, so we let that haze. Then we're gonna buff it back off. Then we're gonna water test it. And like I tell you guys, the true way of testing these products is not, it's basically, you got to use all the steps when you test these. You know what I'm saying? If you don't use the detail spray, the wax, the spray waxes and stuff like that in between washes, then you ain't testing them right because they recommended they work together, not as a standalone product. See, so. I don't know how these people doing these tests on these channels unless they using the detail spray and the spray wax. The test is irrelevant, really, you know, because they recommend they use, to be used together. So testing these is really a waste of time. You just got to maintain them yourself. It's as good as you are, basically. Your protection is as good as you are. All right, so let's get it. Let's bump this off. Just like a car, if you don't change the oil, the brakes, <laughs> and stuff like that, if you don't keep it up, then the car fall to pieces. No. Uh, tires got to be kept up. 
the same thing with waxes. You got to use the detail spray. You got to use the spray waxes. If you don't keep it up, then the waxes in your vehicle. You don't change the oil on the regular as good as you are. See, so if you ain't no good about keeping your car or your protection, then it's all on you. So let's bump this off. Right quick like here we go. And this stuff comes off very easy. You can see the gloss here on the paint. Check out the gloss on the paint here. It's because it gives so much shine because of the simple fact what it does, it cleans the paint. Okay, so that's all off pretty much here. So we go ahead on and buff off the ceramic wax here. This all in one as well. Let's buff this off out the middle here. Then we'll just come in here and water test this joint. I use a little small pound on here, guys, because you guys can see this better. If you try to test too many products at one time, nobody really can see what's going on. Kind of puzzle everybody basically flip that rag over all right guys now it's all off so we're gonna come in here i'm gonna shoot water because i want to know what's one of them be water the best that's mainly what i'm looking for so when i put this on my vehicle what kind of beating protection I, am i'm gonna get all right so let's hit it let's come in with this one Let's water test it. Let's start with the 3M. Bees water fairly good, as you guys can see. All right, this is an old school product. I don't know if it's going to be as good as the ceramic, but it bees water pretty decent. All right, so let's hit the ceramic side here. And I think the ceramic side may may beats let's see yeah the bees a little tighter on the ceramic side versus the traditional side very close but i give it up to the ceramic as you guys can see here let's hit it again yeah that ceramic side actually bees a little better i'm pretty sure it's a little modern so it may last a little longer yeah, the ceramic is, does beads a little tighter, but uh, don't be fooled by that, though. But as far as price-wise, both of them in the neighborhood around 15 to 20 bucks. I'll say about 15, the 3M's around 15. So basically, I would just say try both products, because pretty much they both are great products. But the ceramic does beads just a tad, a little bit better. Fuzz beating up the water, you know. So, anyway, that's my judge. Just buy both. Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, I'm out of here. Having a little fun, man. Peace.